Man, this is just ridiculous. You guys want a tank? You wanted a tank? Oh, we gonna get a tank. What's up everybody, I'm IGP and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I know we haven't picked this game up in a while, but there are new units and a new faction being developed by Landfall Games that I want to show off to you guys. Also, I have been given the challenge of defeating the Dark Peasant with as many archers as I can possibly muster. Now, something tells me I'm not going to be able to do it. We're going to find out, but before we do that, I want to show you guys this. This thing right here. This is a tank. Now this tank was originally designed by Leonardo da Vinci and it's pretty badass. It has a 360 degree firing range and it's pretty mobile. I think the design originally was supposed to only go in two directions, but if I'm not mistaken, this one can go in any direction. So it's like a flying saucer with cannons sticking out of it and it's flying apparently. So the flying saucer definitely does it justice. Now what's interesting, it does have one wheel on the bottom that helps it move. The original design by Da Vinci had four wheels, which two on each side were operated by cranks, which you would have people on the inside cranking one way to go forward and the reverse way to go backwards. And then you'd have all the cannons being able to be loaded on the inside, which would protect anyone from being injured. Now, obviously the people on the inside are entirely protected. The idea of the tank was to be able to push into large groups of enemies and disorganize them and also destroy them. But something like this, a tank, a mobile firing vehicle, wasn't ever realized until much later in time. We're talking like 400 some odd years. So yeah, the top of it is supposed to resemble a turtle shell. It's actually reinforced wood. Again, it was meant to protect everyone on the inside. I'm not sure how many people they were supposed to have operating it from the inside. There's a lot of cannons on this thing. I can't imagine all those people can fit in there, let alone even steer. But this one is kind of different. It looks like there's a little bit more cannons than there was on the original design and, of course, just the one wheel. This particular unit in tabs is going to be able to move in any direction at any given point in time. I imagine this thing is gonna cost a lot. And, and people have complained that I say this every time a new unit is introduced, but this thing seems a little bit much. If this, if one unit can take out all of this, it's overpowered, okay? I imagine the cost is gonna make up for that, but uh, you know, like the Dark Peasant could take out all of these and we can all agree that the Dark Peasant is a bit of an overpowered unit. This one, like, almost takes the cake. Like, there's no stopping this thing, at least from what I can see. I imagine you have to have, like, catapults, cannons, or something to be able to fire at it, watches, to be able to deal a lot of damage to stop this thing. Because you have, because the mechanics, the actual gameplay mechanics of each one of those cannons is just like the cannon crew unit that we have already in the game. So, it has, let me see, 16 cannons. So, 16 cannon crew in one unit basically. And it looks like they have unlimited ammo too. It looks like there's no stopping that. They'll just fire whenever they see people. Now, on the side of them too, they have little holes where they're protruding from. I'm wondering if there are actual people in there operating each one. It would be nice to have like, it doesn't look like it though. It would be nice to have like archers shoot in and, you know, get a lucky shot and kill one of the people on the inside and stop that cannon from being used. Or just have one person in there that if you get a lucky shot in, the whole thing stops anyway. And of course the physics of it are going to be tweaked. They mentioned that. It's not supposed to be flying in the air from just the thrust of the cannons. It's supposed to weigh a lot and keep it down on the ground. So hopefully they'll fix that in the future and make this a, a viable more realistic version. It's totally accurate. You know, it's totally accurate. Now we're also given a sneak peek at two more units for the Renaissance era. That is the maces and the halberds, as you can see here. The halberds are interesting weapons. They're like really elongated axes with a spear tip on it, basically. Now, from what I can gather, these guys will chop down, much like the axemen, but they'll also, from a distance or if they get too close, they'll stab and thrust the spears into them, like that. It's like they'll do a single chop motion down and then start stabbing, and then you just have the tank in the background. Da Vinci's tank, it's just demolishing everything. Like, I don't know how many times Da Vinci's design has been used in a video game, but uh, this is kind of cool that we're actually seeing this come to life semi-realistically. Yeah, it shouldn't be moving like that. It really shouldn't be. From what I saw, it should be just moving forward and backwards. It had limited mobility, but it was unstoppable in design. 
Fun fact, it was actually designed to be faulty in a sense that the cranks and the gears that were in the actual design, if you replicated it right from Da Vinci's design, it wouldn't be able to move anywhere because the back wheels would turn inward and the front wheels would turn backwards. And it would just, people say it's an obvious oversight, but Da Vinci had a great stance against war, but who knows, maybe he set it up. So that way, if anyone, an enemy were to get a hold of the design, they would not be able to actually put it to use. So really though, the presentation of this, I love the room that they're in. I wonder if we're gonna have access to that in the future to test out stuff, but I like how they actually had an army, but they didn't even need it. Like the tank could have done all of that damage and more. They have catapults in the back, which you'll see in a second. You'll actually see this thing get destroyed. I'm not sure if it's by health or because the top comes off and you'll see in a second. But maybe because the top comes off, it exposes what would be in there, the people, the operators, and then they're exposed and possibly dead by other archers. I mean, all these guys are dead, but as soon as they get hit by this thing, you can see it wiggle just a little bit and bam, it's off. No one on the inside, just a one wheel. As I said, it was supposed to be four with two cranks, but that is it. Now, the maces are very much similar to the barbarians, except they have two uh, maces, one in each hand. Maces, I'm assuming, deal more damage because they're spiked versus just a, a general club, but it doesn't look like they do much. They just kind of like run around and whack. They don't have any kind of range before they attack. They're pretty much right up against the enemy before they even swing, so that's kind of not that optimal, I suppose. Everyone's just getting slaughtered. Y'all weren't even needed. Da Vinci's tank is all we need. I wonder how much it's gonna cost. It must cost a lot, to the point where you're not even gonna use it in the regular campaign mode, you're just gonna use it in sandbox to mess around. Anyway, that is the Renaissance faction. That is Da Vinci's tank. Got the hull birds and the maces coming up in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed what you have seen, enjoyed the sneak peek. If you guys wanna see it for yourself, link is in the description below. You can subscribe to Landfall Games on their YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of their latest test videos. There's a lot of interesting stuff there. They post pretty frequently, actually. Anyway, now it is time for us to put the archers to the test. Are they the number one unit? Can a multitude of archers take out the Dark Peasant? Let's find out. And we're gonna go to an appropriate place. I think, uh, the Neon... The Neon map is a good map to test this on. I feel like there's enough space, and, I mean, the archers are probably gonna lose. I'm just throwing that out there. Archers, probably done for. Now, you guys had mentioned archers, right? Now, they shoot arrows, right? There are other units that shoot arrows of a certain variety, and if the archers can't do it, we'll try it with other units that shoot out arrows. Dark Peasant, I'm gonna put you as far away as you possibly can. You can start right there, and I'm just gonna lay down about a hundred. About a hundred might do it. The problem I see here is that the second, you know, I might put him, I might put him over here. We're gonna start strategically right away. I'm gonna put him up here. But the problem I see with this is that the second he gets close to any of these guys, and they will walk forward towards him, is that they're just, they're just gonna get picked up and killed. It's not even gonna be fun. But here we go. Ooh, that music changed, though. Let's see if this works. We can actually hear them walking. I like that. All right, start firing. Quickly. Quickly. It's- dude, it's done. There is no way. I mean, he's getting hit. And look, yeah, he's getting- he's getting stabbed. Pin him up against the wall, dudes. You got it. The second he gets free, I mean, dude, he's taking a lot of damage. I don't know how much they do, but he has a lot of health. He's gonna have to keep going for a while. All right, he's charging the one guy, and he's dead. And now it's an easy kill right here. Yeah, it's all done. It's done. Oh, wait, we still got one guy. We still got one guy. He's taking velocity impact damage, too, from when he gets in contact with the guys. See, I love how they're alive until they're thrown onto the ground. Again, from impact damage. Oh, that was bad. All right, we might need way more than a hundred. We're gonna need like... Oh, yeah, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot we can do this. Guys, don't walk forward, please. You're gonna ruin this whole thing. You guys can't be walking forward. I'm just gonna paint the entire area here. See what happens. I think they can do it. You know, I have faith. I think I think they can do it, man. I think... Uh, they're probably all gonna die. Two, 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 fifty-three. Sounds good. We're gonna have a little bit of lag here. Actually, it's not that bad. All right. Pin him up, dude. Make him into a pin cushion. Well, if you stay towards the edge, we might be able to knock him off. And that's a win for me. Yes! <laughs> See? Red victory. Come on, let's go. Show me the red victory. Alright, don't- don't do it now. Guys, show me the red victory. Why is he not dying? Uh-oh. Maybe that doesn't happen on this map. Oh shit, they realized their mistake and they turned back. I mean, these guys are dumb. 
Okay, well, I guess I guess technically I don't win. That's fine. I can I can agree with that because I wanted him to die by losing all of his health. I didn't want him to be knocked off. It's still a win, but I wanted him to die from health. Oh, come on. Don't knock him off again, dude. Don't do it again. Ugh. How do we even fall this way? Why do you keep doing that? So is he dead? He looks dead. He looks very much dead. Maybe they didn't make a kill zone. Oh, we did! All right. All right. All right, so since he's over here and we have people everywhere, we're gonna put him over to the middle. There we go. This should be fine. But that, yeah, so we got the victory. I was wondering if they didn't put a kill zone in there, but they did. All right, let's see how they do. Come on, just take out all of his health. That's a lot of arrows, dude. Oh my God. Just this barrage of, it's, it's a fog of arrows at this point. I can't even tell which one's going in what direction. All right, he's picking up everyone. He's getting, he's getting hit hard though. I wonder if it's possible, because you see how the arrows can stick into the wall. I wonder if an arrow can go partially through him and then stick to the wall and pin him down. Is that possible? Is that possible to do that in the game? Ooh, the music's getting pretty intense. It's actually quite peaceful at the same time. Oh, they're all dead. They're all dead. They're all dead. That's it. That is it. Yup. Wow. No contest, dude. No, we won, but no contest. Basically, so we need to put more people, uh, like up here, right? Did they fall or did they stay up there? I don't know what they did, but we're gonna- we're gonna put as many units as we possibly can down. I don't think- I really don't think that having more and more units is gonna do anything. All it's gonna do is lag <laughs> and make it easier for him to kill everyone. There we go. We got 500, <laughs> 500 archers down for one dark peasant. This lag is gonna be terrible. I'm gonna have to slow mo it. To get rid of the lag. There we go. Wow! That really does work. That gets rid of a lot of the lag. Okay, so these guys don't need to be up there. They really just run off and kill themselves. Are they dead? No, they're not dead. Those guys are probably dead. Let's see. Are we doing any any work right now? These guys are trying to scale. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Okay. Woo! Look at those arrows! Jeez, I'm sure there are so many people killing each other right now. Dude, he's standing basically still. Let's hit him possibly is that is that a thing we can do do you think we got do you think we can hit him what a ter what a terrible terrible group of people man you guys are pretty much half dead barely got any arrows at him no damage you need to hit one of those boxes that would be awesome oh there we go we hit it but it's gone uh oh uh oh what's happening over here oh we hit a box damn it's too bad we didn't hit that box on the dark peasant that would have helped out a lot all right so now he's taking some damage it looks like the less there are the more we actually hit, which is a strange phenomenon here. You'd imagine they wouldn't be in the business of killing each other by accident and running off tall buildings. But uh, this doesn't seem possible. I tried it with 100, I tried it with 200, tried it with 500, just not working out. All right, I don't know what he's doing though. The Dark Peasant seems like he's a bit discombobulated. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Look at this pile of dead people. That's a lot of dead people. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. See, you could you could have done it. You could have done did it. But you suck. Don't let him get close. It's over if he gets close, dude. All right, you got one guy. You got one guy. Let's fire that let's fire that bow, dude. Never mind. He just got sucked up. Good god, the lag is terrible. 500 does not do it. Wait, where is he? Wait, there's more? What? Oh, this guy. He's hiding. Yep. Oh, God! Brutal. Well, then, it doesn't look like archers can do it. I'm wondering, instead, though, is it possible to encircle him in archers? You know what I mean? Like, have them all around in this crappy circle. Maybe it'll work. That's 76. They're still going to run towards him. But that might help. Nope. What he's gonna do is just circle around and pick them all up at once. <laughs> Basically. If we could get lucky and have them hit one of those boxes while they're around the Dark Peasant, we might win. But we're probably not gonna do that. Well, maybe. Well, maybe. It's right there. Come on, guys. Hit it! Hit it! Dude, he's getting hit, though. It's actually insane how well they do. Yep, there he goes. Ugh, not by health, though. That's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. Try that again. See, they do- it's way more effective with less people. Oh, there we go! That did some damage. That definitely did some damage. Come on, hit the, hit the box again. Hit the box again. No? 
Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, it's over. There's no help. Look at all those boxes over there that would have helped out so much. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like, okay, so he, he picks up a few and then drags them around. It seems like it's a, it's a game to him. I mean, it probably is. I mean, look at this. It's, it's, there's no contest. So yeah, it does seem like him being circled by the archers seems to be effective because he's going to get hit from all sides. He can't really dodge much of it. I wonder if I could set a diversion. If I could have him follow one guy, he's totally done. Done. Dunsky. Yep. Okay. Guys, I'm starting to think this isn't possible. Let's do, let's put a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more. We just want to paint the outside with a bunch of archers. So that way, eventually, he will be just circled in. I didn't realize I put people on top of those towers. Probably not a good idea, but I'm full of not good ideas, so roll with it, dude. All right, so we have about 200 people enclosed in a circle. There we go. 201. Got that one extra dude just in case. We should have him start in the middle, like way more in the center. This seems a little bit one-sided here. We'll have him start right here, I think. That's going to have him run towards the center. Nope, he's still going to go to one side. That's fine. He'll pick people up. Eventually, they'll enclose around him and hopefully kill him. I think this is our last stand right here. This is our last chance. Nope, they just form a wall. So it's not okay. They're definitely going to push him off, though. I mean, more than likely, that's what's going to happen. I wish he could get pinned against a wall, dude. That would be so great. Is he off? Nope. He is not off the map. He's moving around freely. He's going after the one guy. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why am I doing this? What, what am I doing with my life right now? Why am I trying this so hard? Ah, oh, dumb. We got to move him somewhere. Let's put him, like, literally right up against here. Right in the middle. Let's see what he does. What does he do? Go straight down? Here we go. That's a little bit of fact. Eh, it's nah. Nah. Not going to work out. <laughs> well, kind of. Kind of. Here we go. We got two walls. Oh, dude. He is getting annihilated. Oh, that was almost perfect. Nope. Don't go off the map, dude. It's not your intention. Oh, God. Get on, get on, dude. I'm actually cheering for you. Okay? Get on the map. Oh, my God, dude. That was the perfect play, dude. Perfect. We got to do that again. That was so good. So good. But he's so dumb. He keeps going off the map. I want him to die by health loss. I don't want him to die by falling. I mean, I've won so many times already by knocking him off the map, but that's not okay with me. And there he goes again. What an idiot. All right, let's put him to try to go to the other side. Let's put him up against this. Oh, maybe I can make him glitch, dude. I am such a genius. All right, put him right there. Let's go, dude. Nope. Just flies through it. Cool. Well, that did kind of mess him up. That gives them a good start. <laughs> yes! That is what I wanted. Did, did it kind of hit him? They're not, they're not hitting him, though. They're just, they're missing entirely. Look at all these arrows just flying by him. I mean, granted, they're not, they're not programmed to track. You know, they're just, they're just shooting in the direction they last saw. So they're not really going to hit him <laughs> unless they get lucky. There's a bunch of arrows flying around these boxes, too. I'm surprised none of them have gotten hit. Can do some extra damage with it, but nope. These guys are just dumb. Oh boy, what, what a terrible attempt. Let's try that again. So maybe him being there is not the best idea. We'll, we'll move him back a little bit this way. There we go. And could I put him on top of the tower? Maybe I could have done that. Probably would not have helped. But it seems better to do it on this side. But then he keeps falling off the map. He is so dumb. You're, you're dumb dumb, dude. You're dumb dumb. There we go, stay on the map. Stay on the map. Stop it, dude. I know you got guys behind there. I think that's the problem. I gotta move the guys that are behind there. <laughs> He's gonna get stuck or something stupid anyway. And they're gonna keep trying to shoot him. And they're not gonna move and it's gonna be a standstill. Where is he? There he is. Alright, here we go. Here we go. He's on the map. He's on the map. Not really doing much damage. We are missing all of our arrows. Ah, oh, this is terrible. This is just terrible. This is not gonna happen. I mean, if he stands still like that, if we can keep- it looks like we stun him. If he takes enough damage, he gets stunned in place. And then he just kind of spins around for like a second. That's a good time for us to keep repeating that by hitting him. But we're not doing it, because we're dumb. Alright, you know what? Archers- Archers can't do it. Calling it right here. You know what I am gonna try, though? I am gonna try the ballistas. Let's see if this can happen. Alright, we have- how many do we have? Can these guys sit up here? Oh my god, they can sit up there? That's- that's ridiculous. Yes! A hundred ballistas versus the Dark Peasant. Can we do it? Please do it. Let's go. All right, so the ballistas try to move. That's just stupid. Holy shit. Well then, <laughs> I think it's done, dude. 
There's no way the Dark Peasant is going to survive this. That has to deal a lot of damage. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Just explosions. He is so pierced. He <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Okay. Red victory. Ballistas beat. But if you look at it, it's not a fair contest. Okay. I have 55,000 money spent where he has 20,000. Can I do it with an even 20,000? I don't know. Let's find out. Can we do it with an even 20,000? Is that possible? Holy crap, that's not a lot of people. <laughs> this is not gonna go so well, and... Uh, where's the last one? Okay, so I can't- I can't do that. I have to- I have to stay under or at it. So we're at 36 versus 100. Is it possible? I don't know. Come on, guys. You got this. Alright, you got him with two already. That's a lot of damage. This is a lot of damage. And they explode, too. I don't know if he takes extra, like, force damage from the explosions. Come on, just a few more. I feel like it's just a few more. Come on, guys. Oh, so close! Come on! Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, I gotta spread them out. I gotta spread them out. I'm about to make a circle. There we go. Now they're in more of a circle. Kinda. Eh. It's not gonna do well. Oh, look, he's just gonna go in a semicircle and just destroy. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen here. Or he, he, or he gets knocked off, you know, that's a possibility too, but I really want him to die by health legitimately now, and with under 20k. Super fair fight, is it possible to defeat the Dark Peasant? I think so. Oh, come on, we have enough. We have way more than enough room and time to take him out. Come on! Alright, we're gonna have to move the Dark Peasant around somewhere. Let's have him start very close, so they can start firing immediately. Let's have him get stuck on the wall. Totally not cheating. Yeah, get stuck on that wall, dude. Climb it up. What are you even doing, dummy? Holy shit, that was scary. Uh, yeah! Yeah, I love it. That was perfect. Just get him stuck, and it's golden. That was brutal. Yeah, if he gets if he gets hit too much, he starts just not knowing where he's going and just moves around in a circle. It's a perfect opportunity for us to fire all of our our wooden missiles at him. Oh, you idiot. Don't go off. Don't go off, dude. You're, you're so close to dying. Don't go off. Don't do that. Come on. Come on. One more, one more, one more shot. Get it in there. Get it in him. Get it in him. Come on. Come on. Didn't get it. Shit. Start again. I like that. I like that he climbs the entire thing and then gets shot at. Boom! Oh, he got hit too. That's perfect. Let's get a few shots in before he actually gets a chance to attack. Oh, yeah. That's way more than a few. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. This might We might actually do it this run. It's all luck, dude. Oh, he's climbing again. Hey, buddy. Wrong way. Oh, wow. Is he gonna get stuck? Dude, please get stuck. That is so perfect. Yes! He's gonna die. He's gonna die so hard. Oh my god, yes! Oh, that was so beautiful. Get stuck, you bastard. Alright, well, that counts. Archers can't do it, but damn, a ballistas. The ballistas can do it in a fair fight, less money spent. Anyway, you still have the advantage, Dark Peasant, and you lost. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see in the next episode. And also, again, be sure to subscribe to Landfall Games so you can keep up to date with all the latest swag going on with tabs. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!